Hey again! Welcome to the first part of how to build planes in Besiege. In this, you will learn about how to build a skeleton for your plane, which blocks you should use and how you can add propellers to your plane. Now, before you start building, make sure you build on the x-axis. What do I mean by this? If you click on this tool, you will see that you have three arrows facing in three directions. A green arrow which stands for the z-axis, a blue arrow which stands for the y-axis and a red arrow which stands for the x-axis. When you start building, make sure that the tip of the plane faces towards the same direction as the x-axis. The explanation on why will be given in later videos where it will become more important. Alrighty, so how exactly do you start? Simple, you just build the skeleton of your plane first. Use logs for this as they are fairly large and reduce block count for you. Make a fuselage, add some wings, the elevator and a rudder. There, perfect. Make sure that your plane isn't too nose heavy or tail heavy, otherwise this will only cause you problems. Now, get these long props and place them so that they are near your wings, your elevator and your rudder. And ta-da, you have made a glider. However, there are still things to do. For example, the angle your propeller is at is too steep. Propellers are what will produce lift for our planes. If you turn your plane and activate this tool, you will see about how much lift your propeller will produce. If your plane is heavy and slow, you want as much lift as possible. If your plane is light and fast, you want as little lift as possible. Adjusting the lift to optimal speed of your plane is the key to making your plane stable. Also, make sure that this arrow faces forward and not backwards. Since we have a very light plane at the moment, we will be angling the propeller so much that they will have no lift. That's why we take this tool, set it to 23 degrees and turn all propellers straight. If you've built your plane correctly and let it glide over some height, you should get the effect called prop abuse. This means you're gaining lift without gaining any drag. And this is how you make a glider and besiege. If you want to make control surfaces and stabilizers, please watch the second part of this series. If you have any questions or requests, simply comment and I will reply to them. Thank you for watching.